All right, everyone, uh, more about the Trump assassination attempt. Of course, a shooter attempted to blow his head off and missed, hitting him in the ear, actually, leading to, link in the description, what I believe is going to become the most iconic photograph of the entire election cycle. That and maybe Joe Biden's Adderall stare. That's not necessarily as helpful. Um, yeah, they tried to kill him, and they failed. I'm sure that we'll find that there are certain connections, socio-politically, involved with the shooter. I don't think this was just a rogue gunman, like a, uh, it's, it's more like a grassy knoll moment than anything else. There were some questions being raised earlier with regards to the actual situation. Uh, I've got a couple of clips. I'm going to be studying them in more detail, of course. Nobody's going to be talking about anything else for the next 48 hours or so. Joe Biden breathing a sigh of relief. Nobody's talking about his dementia right now. Well, that's an improvement now, isn't it? I think the deep state was involved. And I think that they just fucked themselves. Uh, I, I think that they just messed up bigly. I have a feeling that this will also affect polling, by the way. Um, undecided voters are not going to react too kindly to the fact that a uh, candidate, I mean, they're on the fence. So they're like, well, I don't know, maybe I choose Joe, maybe I choose Donald. Not 100% sure. Oh, wait, they just tried to kill one of them. Well, um, you're trying to take my choice away, number one, and number two, that kind of proves that the dude really is not part of the Uniparty and the establishment fucking sucks. I have a feeling this is going to get him a lot of rebel voters, actually. I think that they uh, really, really messed up with this one. And it probably was centralized. Now, you've got the, again, you've got the most iconic fucking political image probably of the last decade. <laughs> it's right there. Again, link in the description. Uh, I'm, I'm posting it, too, because... Um, it's sort of a symbol of the United States at the moment now, isn't it? This is how it's going to be used for uh, memetic, or, or a.k.a. propagandistic uh, purposes. Here's a person who has been persecuted to the point where someone's literally trying to kill him. Blood dripping down the side of his face. He's still being defiant. Ta-da! There you go. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be in some campaign ads. We're not sure exactly what the motive is at this time. I have a feeling, though, if I had to put a re uh, do a cold reading here, I have a feeling here's uh, the problem. Somebody who had been a Trump supporter um, got radicalized online by a bunch of glowing ones and uh, then decided to take a shot. Something like that. You know, you'll find maybe CIA connections or something. Uh, trust me, they've already seized those electronic devices. Oh boy, those are never going to be released to the public. You get a little write-up about it, you know, 10 years from now or something like that. And they actually tried to kill him. And it was predictable. It was always a worry that they were going to attempt to do so, but uh, they fucking failed. Oh boy, did they fuck up. Like, this is the fuck-up of, of the century, politically speaking. This is, is huge. Uh, people are, I mean, people are reacting in a visceral mash, uh, fashion to the fact that a presidential nominee, a presumptive nominee, he's a former president, uh, was almost killed. Uh, even they're underestimating just how politically important this is. And Donald Trump, by the way, right now is doing just fine, getting his ear stitched up again. I hope that he has a meeting with Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield, because that would be the most legendary thing ever. And they're all friendly, so, you know, just go with it. Turn it into political fodder, dude. I'm sure that he'll think of something. Um, th this is definitely going to be a big part of this campaign at this point. It's even being underestimated by people that are taking it 10 out of 10 levels seriously. You almost had a presidential assassination. Even if Trump loses the election, he's still a former president. Somebody just tried to kill the nominee. They didn't even wait until they were in office. Uh, people are having, again, a uh, monumentally lopsided response to Donald Trump's existence. The funny part is that they fuck themselves in the process. People who hate him, they keep, uh, keep uh, self-deprecating, basically, politically. It's like, uh, none of these people have a clue. They're just fucking retards. They're morons. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Disorganized, except at the, uh, the glowing one level. And they can't get their shit straight. I mean, no shit straight at the moment in the country. That picture is basically a symbol of the country. Yeah, here, here's Donald Trump is the country, and uh, he's being beaten down and fucking shot at and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> you know, Jesus. I mean, I, can't, I, I mean, I might have to do an extra live stream. I might do a live stream this afternoon and bounce the Monday one. Of, of course, 
I have a feeling, and this is just a sneaking suspicion, that there's going to be a certain subject on everyone's mind when I go live with the quartering, actually, tomorrow. I have a feeling that this might be one of the subjects that is discussed. I, I have a feeling that that's probably on his mind, too. And he wakes up. He's probably deep asleep right now, but uh, when he wakes up in the morning, boy, oh boy, is he going to be fucking surprised. I'm actually, unfortunately, not surprised at all. I mean, it's like, oh, they actually did it, but it's like, well, you know, <laughs> there was always a 50-50 chance they were actually going to try to do the JFK thing. It's just that the rifle shot literally two inches off to the side. That's how much Trump lived by, considering it grazed his ear. Two inches, that would have put it right here, right in the center of his noggin. It would have uh, blown his fucking head off. If it had gone two inches in the other direction, then he'd still have that ear. Um, I mean, he's going to wear that as a battle scar. It'll look for him to, by the way, ham it up completely on this one. And the deep state must be goddamn livid right now because their asset uh, didn't shoot quite straight. The wind was just a little bit too gusty in one direction when he took the shot. Even after people told the local cops, hey, there's a dude up on the roof with a rifle, apparently they didn't do anything about it. And then apparently there was a sniper train directly in that direction that didn't take the shot first. Hmm. Mm. The, the thought plickens now, now doesn't it? That's about all. Peace out.